Hello everyone and welcome to our first session of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We will be using the rule book released by Renegade Game Studios. The Power Ranger book was actually released last year, but only today. We will be starting the session this evening with episode 1. With the campaign title name Shattered Dimension. In Shattered Dimension, in the synopsis of Shattered Dimension, the morphing grid is shattered. But the moment it's shattered, it disrupts the harmony within many different universes. Between the world of the Super Sentai, the Mighty Morphin world, and also the world of Kamen Rider, and also the world of Ultraman. And within this shattered dimensions itself, that Morphin Crystal, the moment it's shattered, the moment it's shattered, it got, got scattered all over the known universe. And during this time, a few teenagers that is actually just enjoying their time in Violet City, a place near nice, beautiful oceans. Not far from other cities such as Windy City or even Angel Grove itself. But in a different dimension where the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers themselves have not even appeared. Because this is an entirely new era itself. Maybe the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers already started within the Angel Grove. And only during this time, the people of Violet City is also just starting to actually become the other rangers from many of the different universes, such as the world of Super Sentai and also the world of the Power Rangers. But now, as the heroes, they're just trying to actually get settled in to their new school. They just finish. They just finished their junior. They junior high, and then they just started to actually move in to the new school. But before that event even happened, another event that actually happened during a previous session is just getting started. And then during this time itself, within the abandoned city known as Night City, the world completely shattered, completely destroyed due to the attack made by Ritaro Pausa, a lady that can wield powerful spells that can control minions by just waving her hands and her wands, corrupted many other known heroes into her side, making them into villains to fight for her. And only one or two still fighting toe to toe against her evil army. But within the confines of the dark city itself, Michael and Oh my god, Ashlyn Ray is just going to actually fight against the minions of Rita Repulsa. Ashlyn Ray looks to Michael. This is indeed their final battle lead. And Michael moves her back closer to Ashlyn. They couldn't do much when Azrael fell, unable to actually defeat Rita during that time. And with many dimensions open, the neo parties that you see next to you, Ashlyn, Ray, and Michael, they were just getting ready to attack. But your powers is just diminishing. You realize that the powers that you had previously in the world of mutants and masterminds, the earlier campaign that we had previously is slowly dissipating. There's nothing else that you could do. But Michael and Ashlyn Ray, your only hope now is to delay Rita's army in pursuing Walter Cross to reach the laboratory in getting the devices that could protect other worlds other than yours that will be corrupted and destroyed game okay, michael you look to ashley and ashley looks to you and then after that the both of you just smile thinking that 
It is just time for you to give water cross the time that you need. Okay, I'll give you two to role play this. Ashlyn Ray and Michael. Okay, Ashlyn Ray to you. The world is completely destroyed. Rita, your old companion a long time ago, she found a book so powerful that corrupted her mind that the only thing that she could do now is to control every other known heroes and change them into corrupted rangers, corrupted sentais and corrupted riders. And then actually, Ray, you're just giving time for Walter Cross. You know this is a fight that you cannot win. Not with the villains that is coming very, very soon to actually face you. And what Michael, you know for a fact that this will be the battle that you actually yearned for. But this will be a battle that you will probably not come back to. And even if you're defeated, Rita will just corrupt your mind and use your body to make you into a Neo Shoka or a Neo Kaiju or Kaijin. Then, Ashton Ray, what do you want to do? Michael, get back. They cannot have you. If they have you, they, the, the world will be what you know. What, you know who, you know your power. You your your power cannot be fall into Rita's hand. Get away. <laughs> Not this then. This time, partner. Let's give him one hell of a dance. On last time then. Then ah. you turn to Ashlyn, Michael, and say one last dance. You told her. And Ashlyn, what do you say? And your dance. <sighs> Fine! One last dance I will call home. This is such a nuisance. You all are such a nuisance. I'm gonna burn you all to Chris. Hey, I'm buying dinner tonight. Let's see who can pay for it. Yeah, you damn well pay for the pay for the dinner and the money that you owe me. And then after that, Michael. You took out your device. You gave one to Walter Cross, making sure that the professor have enough time to actually create another device similar to yours. And hopefully that the professor or Walter can find the perfect person to use it. You took it. You put it around your waist, on your in the front. And then after that, you speak up. And after that, you just said, I Henson! And then after that, you henshin, and then you appear before the parties. The parties like Yay! looking at you, at first terrified, but you can see a smirk on their face. You know your energy level is low, but enough to actually give time. And then actually, you see Michael uttered his henshin word, and then after that, you look to them. You focus all your fiery energy to your clothes, burning them completely to actually reveal your other alter ego and then to actually appear as the last ray. And then after that, you see the parties actually appeared, but they charge slowly towards you. And then the last thing you did was to charge towards them, making sure that portal persevered. Yeah. Uh, DM, can, can, can you use my voice to say maximum drive? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Maximum drive! You lose the last of your energy to actually call in maximum drive. The moment you actually, if you do that, that means your energy will be completely down. And then Ashlyn Ray, how about you? Try to fight and say that, oh god damn I mean, Michael. Uh, I'll try to fight it off and then I'll try to help uh, Michael. It's like, this dumbass. He, he know he shouldn't have used that, but then he still used it. And then... So, mm -hmm. Yeah, then I'll just... I'll just... What's it called? Uh, I'll fight. I'll fight it off, but then I'll try to help Michael. Okay. Even though I know I probably couldn't finish off these guys here. Because that's what the story says! And then, of course, you cannot. You know for a fact that you cannot defeat them. But you charge at them anyway, Ashlyn Ray. Can they go to you, Michael? But you fought. And then 
Meanwhile, inside the secret lab, all the cross. You meet Elena Wesker. Michael's Michael's mother. You look at her and then she tells you you have aged significantly, Walter, together with Michael. Michael was just a young boy in your napkin. A completely different Michael than the previous Michael that you knew. The Michael that actually went to a different world, leaving you, Gigi, and a few others to the world. But you have no idea what actually happened to Rose. Last you heard that he was corrupted by Neo Shocker. And then his mind completely changed. That was the last you've seen of him. GG fought valiantly, but even then, the human cyborg known as Kikaider 00 couldn't even defeat Rita and her minions. Elena Wesker, look to you, Walter. The only thing you have now is just your pistol. The pistol is strong enough to actually defeat many of them, but not all of them. You can see the capsules around the lab itself. Capsules of every known creature that was actually defeated, caught by you and put by Elena Wesker to actually find any weaknesses that can defeat these creatures. Elena Wesker gave you a suitcase, a silvery suitcase. When you look at the suitcase itself, you can't shake your mind out of it. But Elena, she told you, keep this suitcase safe. She looks at you. With my life, Elena. And also, as he basically adjusts most of his old white hair, um, he basically said to her, I aged, kind of like, you know, fine wine. Man, I miss Paris. What's left of it anyway. Maybe we'll all this said and done, I can, you know, take you to see the countryside. You, me, a car, bottle of wine and cheese, cruising the European countryside. Anyway. Elena looks to you, Walter. She said, I couldn't have done it at least without you. It's like, it's like, Walter, she said nicely to you. She looks to you, and then she said, if... If only, if only Michael knew, Walter, if only, if only he knew, if only, if only Michael knew that, that, that you are his biological father. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the is this, man? Elena, it's better that our son does not know this. Yeah, I would rather have him hate me than resent me for the rest of my life. Besides, I'm pretty sure he's in a better place now. Once I leave the lab, that's when, you know, I just check the gun for bullets and everything. I need you to self-destruct the laboratory, the whole building, as I leave. You can, you know, follow me if you wish, or... As they say, the creator dies with his own creations. Elena, Elena grabs you by the waist and gives you a huge hug, Walter. And then after that, she gives you a kiss on your lips. And then she said, head over towards the portal, Walter. We will bring you to another world different than ours. Hopefully before Lord Dracon and Rita destroyed the world. And hopefully you have enough time to find, to find someone, if only... If only as if only Azrael didn't fall during that battle, we would have. I mean, if if only. If only. She said, but you need to find you need to find Uriel. You need to find Uriel the Watcher. Only he would know. Well, that's like Elena Wesker looks to you, but you must protect the Gaia memory suitcase at least with your life. Oh when my God. You look oh at the my suit God. and then inside the suitcase itself, Walter. Ah, uh, what was left of the Ranger keys? The Ranger devices. I'll take good care of them. I'll try to find 
Uriel the Watcher and I'll ask him for help and aid. But as soon as I cross... As we're about to actually continue, you heard a loud bang behind the door of the lab. Like you can hear the snarls and hiss of a creature that you know so well, known as Lizard Head. Lizard Head is a humanoid cobra that can spit acid and entangle you if you are actually, if you are sh and you are unsure if you if your bullet is enough to take care of it. You only have enough for six, not enough to actually kill them, but enough to actually stop them. Elena actually looks to you and she screams and shouted at you, Walter. Quick, head over towards the portal now. As I head towards the portal, and I'm pretty sure the portal is uh, is open, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just basically, as I turn, I give her one last wink while I aim my gun at her and say, Elena, I'll make this quick, okay? I'll shoot you in the heart. That should give you a minute to order the computer to self-destruct. As I, you know, I pull the hammer of the gun very slowly, and as I... Weasel. As you're about to pull the trigger, Elena Wesker winked to you and then she just said to you slowly and then she says, I love you, Walter. And after that, you pull the trigger and you shoot her directly at the heart. Mm -hmm. Giving her enough time to just yell for the self-destruct Then she falls. Then after that, you head towards the portal itself. You look at her. Shit. You try to actually control your emotions but you actually head quickly towards the portal itself when she press the button she clicks the remote and you can see the countdown on the wall itself and self destruct initiated to heal the computer says and then then you can see the floor underneath you started to light up and then you see your particle body itself started to actually dissipate and then the last you see her falling slump on the floor and then you can see this snake head creature barging through the door facing after you and the last you see was the huge explosion engulfing the secret lab before but you're unsure if snake head is dead or not but you get teleported into an unknown world unsure where to go and you hope for yourself and you hope all across that you are able to find the teenagers with attitude but meanwhile azrael you can hear the crowd cheering Wah! at the side you can it's see you can see you can see adam white you can see adam white the u.s boxer like charging comments towards you moving left to right raising his glove directly at you and then after that he points so little boy i hear that you're the champ of his school i'm gonna knock your head down and i'm gonna make sure that i will be the reigning champ that sounds like a privilege for you then he moves left and right then after that you see him you raise your hands. You can hear your coach at the other side of the ring screaming at you. You turn to face your coach, Steve Fox. But you can see your sister, Riza Medico, at the other side. And then you can see your other high, your other friends from the junior, junior school actually looking at you. You can see Zyrus, Nathaniel, even Jason at the other side. And also from amongst the other crowd, others. And even many more looking at you fight you move around you see Adam White moving towards you and after that you can see the referee ding 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 then yeah, after you see moving i'm gonna knock your shit in there, boy really i just put duck down and punch him let me see ah here we go uh sure you're shorter than adam white adam white's taller than you you think you are tall but you read out a uh, jab, a right hook, left hook, a uh, stomach punch, an uppercut, or many more. You're a boxer, so many of your fighting styles should reflect uh, on the box. Upper, I do a rhino punch, and it's a net 20, apparently. Okay. Uh, you need to roll against his difficulty. His toughness is 15. So, regardless, okay. toughness 15, you still hit. Okay. Uh, you punch in the face. I He's punch it, 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 it,
he looks to you. What's your speed? Speed. My speed is two. All most of it okay. are two. All right. Um, right. This is a short tutorial. When your speed is two, you can move and attack. But if you stand still, if you don't move with to your five feet square or any square or any movement, you can attack twice. So Adam White, his speed is only two, but he moved earlier. Then after that, he lands a punch. And what's your toughness? Eighteen. Okay, your toughness is eighteen. Then after that, he lands a punch. He's gonna jab at you. And then I jab, no... I jab back with two-headed combo punch. Yes. Okay, your difficulty is eighteen. He lands two punches. Uh, difficulty eighteen. Let me just submit this. No more. <laughs> okay. I punch him. <laughs> wow. Was that an actual one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's the natural one. Right. He lands a punch. He punches you. You lose one health. You punch him again. And then he loses a second health. You see him staggered backwards. And then after that, when he want to move forward and try to actually be, deliver a really heavy right swing to your face, he suddenly fumble and tumble right in front of you, giving you an opening to attack. And then you land two punches at him, giving you advantage, which is meaning an edge. So when All you right. roll, his difficulty is 15, roll with an edge. Alright, I'm gonna roll. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, 15, right? 15. Yeah, 15. Difficulty 15. Edge. Ha! Boom! I punch That's him good. off his chin and then I uh, punch him with, with my knuckle down towards the floor. Mm -hmm. enough. Okay, what's your second roll? Oh, second roll. Oh, that, that was my first. Okay, let me roll one more time. <laughs> Yeah, again, submit. Activity 15. In an edge. Edge. You move. Adam White, move around. And uh, after 15. you punch him again, pop, pop, pop. You have dealt him four. And this is just the first round. You move him to the side of the road immediately. To the side of the road. And then you hear. Then you see him. The referee go. Ding, ding, ding. Stop. stop. Then you see him staggered. The moment you actually see him stagger, and then you see your referee calling you to the side of the rope before your second match. And then you can see Steve Fox looking at you. That's real. You need to actually send a left hook and a right hook. And after you send a punch to your stomach, and you must do your super combo. Oh, really, sir? <laughs> All right. This is going to be very fun, I thought. No, come, come, let me take a picture of you! Sure. You can see your sister right side the side. Come back there, only child! Oh! <laughs> there you can hear the crowd like jury. Oh. Right. Like what? You suddenly feel with inside. And then you suddenly feel with new strength. And you're like thinking, oh, and you, you see your, your coach telling you. You must set a proper hook. A proper right hook and a last hook. You hear me? That's real. Alrighty, sir. Then after that, you can see from within the crowd, you see a, a beautiful young girl walking over to you. When you turn to actually see, oh, it's just your friend, you think to yourself. Mm -hmm. Lumen Alterano. Standing next to Nathaniel. And she actually looks at Nathaniel. And I tell you, know Lumen from from your previous school, before you actually move to the new school. And then Norman actually like, she screams and shouts at Azrael. Can I role play her, Herbert? Can I role play her, Herbert? Okay, 
Lumen Alterano, she is madly in love with with Azrael Medico, but Azrael Medico is too deaf to know about it. He's too dumb. Maybe because of the left hook and right hook to his brain, so he can't really figure out what what is love, you know, and so on. What do you say? No. No. Are you okay? Hello. Uh, what? I hear you. I hear you. Uh, uh, as uh, as I can say to her, Lumen, are you okay? You need some care after this. You see, Adam White looks to Lumen, and then she said, "Hey." She points to the Lumen. Once I'm down with this boy, I'm gonna bring you out on a date, girl. You're gonna like me, huh? And this my face. And this my life face. Why are you too big? And then Adam White said. At least my left fist is longer than his right fist, if you know what I mean. I don't want it to be like most of them. And then after that, but okay, all right. You heard. <laughs> you heard what? Of course, Adam White said as well. And then you heard that. Okay. He is now. He is actually mentally attacking you. Now you actually need to roll for. This is actually a mental attack. Okay. So roll for what? Okay. So mental attacks in this one meaning that we have to be some sort like an like an alertness roll. Alertness. Okay. Let me roll. No. Okay. Let me no change. Let me and difficulty. Difficulty only twelve. Twelve, okay. Uh, no, but yeah. <sighs> you pass. You ignore his trap. You move further forward again. Then you're gonna move left, right, left, and right. You can see your sister, Riza, saying, "Punching in the face, only child." Then, after that, you move back towards the ring. You see Adam White moving forward. He punches. It just you again to the left, to the right. I punch him with a one-two combo, two-headed combo punch. Yes. Uh... And then he couldn't hit you properly. It seems that he tried to punch you straight in the stomach. You block it, and then you look up at him and you smile. And after you deliver a two punch, I mean directly, and the punch you. Happened, oh. the crowd cheers. And then after that, he was led another second punch to his face. Let me roll for the second one. And let's change. Ha! Door! Right hook. You deliver a right hook. Like then you deliver another hook. Punch him this time directly in the face. And then after that, you completely knock him out as he come falls. But first, to the floor. And then you hear the Josh actually like screaming. Down! Down! And like you see Adam White moving forward. And then you hear ding ding ding! And then you can see the judge actually like screaming and then saying, And do we know the match? That's real. Then after you hear the crowd cheering, and then you can see Cyrus down looking at you on. And then you can see Nathaniel taking photos of you snapping and snapping. And you see Lumin jumping up, jumping and jumping. And you see Reza like saying, I knew you can do it, Omi Chan. She speaks out, and then you see a coach, Steve Fox, and said, ah, that's my boy. Yeah. Thumbs up. Uh -huh. Then, after a while, after a few minutes, Adam White got up from the map, walks over towards you, and then after that, shook your hand. Then he said, that was a good match, Israel. Really good match. Uh -huh. Thanks, White. I, I pay his back hard. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's time for me to pack my bags and head back to Angel Grove. Yeah. Hey, 
Maybe next time I can spar there. Perhaps you have won quite a number of titles here, Israel. I believe, Dave. I believe you should actually head over to Angel Grove. We do have a number of good fighters there. One day, but I still have my education. Oh, is my sister going to kill me? Yeah. I need to study myself. My mark isn't really doing very well. <laughs> but hope your mom gets well, bro. Then, again, he shook your hand and he got off. And then you can see your coach, Steve Fox, looks to you and said, That was a good match, Joel. That was a really good match. Then, Thanks, you can see, then you can see the people actually giving you the prizes. Your medal, as usual. You won a number of medals during your junior high. Now you're middle school. And now you can see Nathaniel taking photo. You can see Zyrus down below. While you're actually getting ready, you see Reza like, looking at you. But since you're at the school gym and all the competitions going on, then you actually had those to park yourself. Well, actually, once you're actually getting prepared, you head towards... You head towards the shower room to actually get yourself prepared. Uh, and then, you know, Nathaniel... How about, how about can, can Nathaniel follow him to the shower room and then, like, have him show his six-packs and everything and take a picture? Because he's just that odd. <laughs> uh, if you do that, I roll for social, social roles because he, he's, he's dense. He's fucking dense. Like, I just thought, I just... Uh, and Nathaniel just wants to take a picture of you flexing your... your Ah, okay. Well, he is dead, so I just I just roll it up. But let, let's roll play that. Let's roll play that. Yes. Ezreal! Ezreal! Okay, Ezreal. You've, you've been followed by Nathaniel. Of course, your friend your friend has always been there, taking your photos and every sport event that you do. But you also heard stories about another, another sportsman, another freshman, actually. They just arrived at the school. You only know him by name. It's only Jason Tennyson. But he seems to be one of the best basketball player you actually ever seen but after once once Nathaniel's done she have to take a photo she have to actually go to the basketball court and take a photo of this new player they just actually just arrived to Violet school Violet high school but you head towards the shower room and followed my Nathaniel okay well in the shower room Nathaniel you're actually looking at most of the other people around but most of them actually congratulate Israel well Azrael is just busy. You're actually no, wiping no, no, off no, no, your sweat. No, no. You're wiping off uh, your sweat from your body, Azrael. Uh, I, I asked Nathaniel this. Hey, uh, Nathaniel, do you want to take a picture of me in the showers? I would love, I would love, to, I would love to see your six packs and everything. I could, even, I could even earn some money from it, you know that. I earn a lot from selling your, your, your image, you know. All the fangirls love it! Oh, oh my god, you have no idea how much fan girls you have, especially your, your that crazy friend of yours. Uh, what was her name again? Reza? I don't know. She buys all of my pictures and she pays me a lot. Just for have her pictures of your abs and your muscle and your, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. I was like, I'm, I like, I like, not looking down at his ding dong. Just like, he really, he really, really wants me to have a picture of that. But you know, I have my own professionalities. I'm not some of you, but if you want it, I could take a picture of it. I am that honorable. Uh, sure, but first, get it in my, on my butt. I don't know how, how, how it got to shape now. I think it's gotten better. In fact, my butt. Sure, I think it really looks good on, the, on her photo. She's been trying to ask me for the pic. What's what? <laughs> sure, why not? I, I, uh, I undress proper, show, show the deal off my glorious body. Of course, my booty. Hey! Oh, yeah! Is it a nice butt? Is it a nice butt? No, no! Okay. Pose it better! Pose it better! Show, show some curve! Show some curve! <sighs> I flex. <laughs> okay, Azrael. When you, Nathaniel is like so excited talking to you, you actually won so many matches. Then you see somebody that you've never seen before from, from this school coming over towards the shower room. And after that, he, you notice they have actually short brown hair, maybe like almost touching his shoulder, wearing glasses, wearing a blue jacket. Seems to be also some sort of junior high school student. And then he arrived, and then he looks at you, and he said, So, um, so your name's Azrael. Hi, um, I'm Billy Cranston from Angel Grove. 
we're actually here doing a report uh, regarding your fight with one of our students, Adam White. Do you have a moment? Uh, sure, but do you mind me being naked? Because if you don't, I can take a quick shower and dress. I'm still, I'm still butt naked. Alright, then go ahead. Thanks, man! What is it? Alright, give me a moment. I, I quickly take a shower. You head towards the tower. While you take your time to the tower, Billy Cranston walk over to you, Nathaniel. And then after that, he said, "They look at him. It's quite a nice, well-mannered look to him when you spot him for the first time. And then you know, can't shake this feeling that this could be a nice guy, or perhaps he's just here taking photos. You will notice also the same camera that he's holding, the same as yours. And then he introduced himself. Hi, my name's Billy. Billy Cranston, and you are." What? What? You have to have a look at Iris! You, you said that she's also a photographer, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. You have to come with Iris! How much you got that? Oh my god! It's like, he, he, he doesn't even remember what he what was the question. He's like, just looking at the camera. I was like, oh, you have to end. Even regard, disregard whatever he just asked earlier on. Just focus on the camera. Oh, that is fanboying. Fanboying on the camera, not on yeah. the person. Yeah. Yep, not on the person, on the camera, on the camera. That's how odd he is. Yes. All right. While you're actually busy, okay, while you're actually talking to Billy Cranston, and then who's actually talking to you about cameras and about the photos that you took, the photos that he took also, and both of you are actually sharing ideas, Nathaniel. But, as the time goes by, then, then Azrael also actually gave his interview, and then many more. But, also at the same time, Zyrus, you arrive at the shower room to actually look at your old friend, Azrael, and to see what Nathaniel is doing. Uh, the DM, I'll be right back, I just need to pray for a bit. Right. Okay. Zyrus, you okay. appear at the shower room. Apparently, as Raul is still taking his bath, you can see another person, not from the same school as you are, talking to Nathaniel. Yeah. So, Zyrus, what do you want to do? Uh, firstly, do you want to drag my character in there? Pardon? Do you want to drag my character in there? Uh-huh. No, your character okay. is there. Your character is there, actually. Where? Because I couldn't see yeah. him. Uh, there, there, there. Yeah. No, drop, uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, so as I was in the shower, I walk in, I'm right here, I'm like, Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Zara. So, I've never seen you around here. Who are you? Okay, and then uh, your voice is a little bit muffled, Zyrus. I can't really hear what you said. It's very muffled. It's very, very muffled. Uh, one moment. Oh my gosh. Uh, right. We're in the shower room itself. Nathaniel, you can see Zyrus walking to the school. Shower. Apparently, probably want to greet Azrael and say a good job like he always does. Cyrus is actually also the nice guy of the school together with you. And all being and you all of you are actually good friends with one another. When Cyrus actually walks in, Cyrus, you see this particular man, a boy actually. Actually, that turns to actually look at you. He seems to be wearing some sort of blue overall, wearing glasses. And after he smiles and after he greets you, hi, my name is Billy Cranston from Angel Grove, and you are. I am Cyrus from. Well, here. Oh, Zyrus, uh, uh, okay, from, you're from, you're also s s classmates or students from Violet High School, is it? He asks you. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm quite well known around here. Um, I don't really like to be obnoxious about it, but, um, you know, like, there isn't too many people who don't know who I am. Hmm. Well, as long as I actually get to know you better, and besides, you're probably going to see me from time to time taking pictures of any sports event or any particular events that actually happen in Violet City. Besides, 
and your growth is just miles away from your city. You're probably gonna see me quite often. Is this yeah, really? Yeah. Was it really worth for you to come all the way here from Angel Grove? Yes. Just so you can cover news like this. Oh, our boxer Adam White. He's from Angel Grove. Oh. You were there. I oh. saw you. You were. You were. You were watching the fight, weren't you? You were at the match. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I was. I, I was just uh, disappointed that um, Ezreal didn't finish him off sooner. I thought, you know, with all the talk that he's done and uh, all of the training, and I thought he will be he'll be able to bring um, your your uh, boxer down a lot quicker. But you know, it was a bit slightly boring fight to watch. Yeah, I don't get it. Wait a minute, there's Zyrus. I think I saw your photo before from Junior High. Wait, now I know where you're from. Now I know where I've seen Nathaniel from too. I think both of you are from the D Club, don't you? What? <laughs> the what? Sorry? The Glee Club. Class D. Class D. Class D. Glee, Glee. Uh, like a Glee Club. Glee the singing club. club. Glee Club. G-L-E-E. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Sorry, Cyrus. I, I mistook you. I mistook you for another one. Wait, you're a dancer, right? Uh, no. No. You're a singer. No, I can't sing. Sing like a then, dying whale. Then what are you? Sorry? Then what are you good at in school? I mean, are you doing anything at school other than... I know Azrael's a sportsman. I do know that Nathaniel's in the in the photography club. And other than that, also, if you don't mind me asking, if you're not in any clubs that deals with, like, you know, singing or dancing or any at least any performing arts then um then the question that i really want to ask would be well that's a very simple way to answer i'm a class captain then uh, then why is both yours and nathaniel's performance skill really high uh because i'm good at making speeches and i'm good at making people like me in before making well, 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 well. I, I, I like art. I, I always have a, a thing for the art, so I, I, I like to take pictures. Although a lot of people find my art is a big, yeah, but yeah, I enjoy doing that. So yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> give it a nervous laugh. It's like, <laughs> I'm part of the student council. Like I don't really have too much time for performance and things like that. Maybe my hairstyle and my outfits and everything reminded you of someone who also were like that. And in my opinion, I think it's a bit of a. Ah, now I get it. You were the student council. I know the president of the student council. So you're part of his club. All right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be meeting him anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna meet Alan Wayne after this. Uh, he's the president for the student council. Uh, yeah, they're sure. Yeah, yeah. Wayne's pretty chill. You know, like we work together, and uh, yeah, the, the students are able to uh, realize their dreams and have a good time at this school. Yeah. Well, I don't want to waste any time. Um, and then after that, it's nice meeting you, Cyrus. And then after that. He looks to you, Nathaniel. It's nice meeting you too, Nathaniel. Hopefully, we can bump into each other again. It's your camera too. It's nice meeting your camera too. And then after that, then he walks towards Azrael. Azrael, I'll be talking to you perhaps after school. Um, probably around the park area. I believe all of you want to celebrate the other students and everybody else. <laughs> sure, sure. But I, I kind of don't do well with, par with parties. Uh, it's just that uh, I have responsibilities. Ah, well, I'll be catching up with you, Azrael, and nice meeting you three. I don't, yeah, I don't want my friend Jason to actually wait for me outside of school. Um, Jason Lee, sorry, there's a lot of Jasons in this school. But anyway, and after that, he just left the shower room, and now leaving Nathaniel. Sorry, wrong guy to go back. Okay. So, what, 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 what,
you talking about? Is that his? What are you talking about here? DMs across the camera! Uh, oh my uh, god! Uh, Nathaniel, breathe, breathe. Remember last time, I don't want you to go climb a tree and be a monkey. Please, calm down, calm down. Calm down. And he's crying. Uh, Zyrus, a little help here. Do you know how to calm him down? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to, uh, there's an ancient karate move and, um, you know, Knocks them out for a moment. Just for a All moment. Right. Oh, okay. Like yeah, you... just get them in the right right spot in the neck and uh, they, they calm down. Me? Well, they, like they go slightly unconscious for a bit, but... Me like this? I do as excited. I uh, knock him out on, on his right uh, right neck. Top. Do I need to oh. go for something of it? <laughs> 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 You can evade using your very high evasion skills easily. How do I press? Is it is it acrobats? Is it acrobats? Yeah, uh, uh, acrobatics. Should be acrobatics. Uh, let me roll uh, my mic. Specialized. No uh, skills. You will need to roll against your evasion, against your evasion difficulty. Uh, what's the difficulty? Yeah, uh, but what's the difficulty? I should be asking you, Yan. What's your difficulty? Oh, no. oh, yeah, you have to roll first. Then I'll take the difficulty. Okay, uh, wait. Well, your is 16. There, 16. Okay, the difficulty is 16. Okay. I'm gonna put 16 Just here check. and it's 16. submit. Normal. I got 13. Evasion, okay. well, 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 they are trying to attack me. I was like, I'm just wailing, and there's like evading, and it's like, what? That evade. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Can you handle Nathaniel? No, my God! Okay. Oh, it's just—it just means I have to sell more, more of your photos, then. Ezra, do some more for me. I want to sell all your photos to Reza. Uh, 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 let me roll. Let me roll for. I mean, there's no role for, for smarts. Like, like the actual role. Alertness of other technology and many such a performance situation. Yeah. I'm just gonna go watch us. I post for Nathaniel. Alright, like, come on, be, be, before I catch a cold. Okay. Come for me! Ezra, come for me! Show me your guns! Show me your butt! Show me your everything! Then, 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 calm down! Calm down! Don't, don't go berserk! Calm the hell down! Maybe, maybe I want to use acrobatics to stop. Oh god, uh, this is stupid. Okay, okay, dude, dude, this is, this is inappropriate. This is, this is, uh, against protocol uh, or something. Like, there's a time and place. And this is not it. Difficulty is 16. I'll try anyway. Uh, you know, specialization, no skill shift. What's the difficulty? 16? Yeah, 1 6. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's see, what do I get? Normal? Normal. Hey, critical oh, success! Yeah. 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 Yay! Hey. Why are you actually doing that though? Why are you actually playing around with Nathaniel, trying to actually prove a point, both of you? Suddenly you hear this, the school bell rings and many of you actually have to go back to class and many of your other special classrooms. And then... Oh, we forgot! And then from there, okay, then Zyrus, you quickly head straight towards the school council room. And then after that, Azrael, you actually head straight towards D, the classroom running as fast as you can, and then Nathaniel, you actually head straight towards the art room. Yeah. I will okay. have all this develop. I will have all this, I think, develop. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, I'm Nathaniel, I'm you I'm first. I'm Nathaniel, you run straight towards this, the the art class, and you can see Riza, Michael, actually waiting there in class. 
you can see the other students already preparing but after that you can see the teacher actually like just raising her eyes her glasses and then looks to you and then after that then rise up and said after after the school ends during that day you can see Raisa looking to you Nathaniel and then she said well you heard the assignment from the teacher she said we have to go to we have to go to the, the school park and also the the forest nearby and take photos of some beautiful butterflies for our, for our portfolio she said and then Raisa looks to me Nathaniel I can't hear you you, you seem to be stuttering why the butterflies? I'm a bit. I'm a bit of butterflies. Ah, the butterflies. Okay, Nathaniel. You always know that Raisa is really cute, even being, even though she's not really biologically close to Israel. But you always see her like a young sister to you, also at the same time. But for you and Raisa, you actually pack your bags and I head towards the nearest forest of Violet City, near the park itself. And actually, once you actually head there, and then meanwhile at the student council, Cyrus, you can see Alan Wayne adjusting his glasses, looking at you. You're late again, Cyrus. Again, that's a lot of time. If you want to take over, perhaps myself, once I graduate, you need to actually prove yourself that you can actually do this properly, Cyrus. And then you can see your good friend Richter standing next to you. Yes, yeah, Iris, you don't have to be so late most of the time. What are you, looking at girls or what? Um, no, I'm not looking at girls. I'm much too busy with my time to do that. Although, when I do find the time, it wouldn't be too bad for it to happen. But no, it's not my priority. I was, um, di like, hanging with my friend, Ed's real. Uh, he was just won a fight. Frankly, it was quite a disappointing fight. I expected him to be a lot better, but, you know, people are people. Him and, and uh, he'll improve in, in his own. And, um, yeah, we, when we were just chilling the uh, change rooms, um, a really uh, loud and overly keen stranger happened to walk in. And, um, yeah, there was a lot of things that happened, so uh, I had to deal with that at the... Student Council representative should be to keep to ensure everybody's safety and, and security, and, and, you know. So there's my there's your reason. Alan Wayne looks to you. Hmm. Well, the stranger they're referring to, I believe, his name is Billy. Uh, he came all the way from Angel Grove. We talk, and he's quite educational and quite smart too in the terms of knowledge but you should really stop yourself from hanging out with Israel he's he only thinks with his muscles not with his brains you know what you're absolutely right with me and um yeah I, I don't see him at our level but um there is a use to it because where we might be good in brains um he might be strong in the area that we might not be but, you know, we can't just count everybody out because uh, they're not as uh, smart or intellectual or, you know, above everybody else like we are. Yes, I believe so. But I want you and I want you, of course, with Azrael, sadly, he rolls his eyes to head over towards the park and to actually celebrate the victory of Pilots cities high schools achievements even though he's uh, even though he's a grunt himself to me he looks like a barbarian i don't know what he looks like but well we shouldn't actually judge somebody even though they do think with their muscle but of course Zyrus, i don't want you to be too late i want you to go to the park perhaps look for riza if you can and look for Azrael, and perhaps and go around but don't take don't be too don't take too long Cyrus you have to remember we have to continue our Dungeons and Dragons session perhaps this weekend uh, what <laughs> for, for uh, breaking what yeah yeah nice. absolutely, absolutely. I love Dungeons and Dragons um, especially with uh, intellectuals like us yes They're yeah lot, it's lot an intellectual higher. game Cyrus not many people will understand our intellect when we run Dungeons and Dragons 
No, no, they do not. They don't know how to uh, read the potential of each and every character and race and class and background and, and weapons and, and spells and shit, you know? Yes, yes. It's too much for Azrael's teeny little brain to fully understand. He might be a fighter, but he can't even control a fighter any love. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that, that's we I actually do that. Popo breaking seriously. That popo breaking. Yes. But it wouldn't be too bad to um you know hire him as like a security guard outside when we're you know conducting more serious activities and stuff. Like we we have the brain and we have the ability to um I don't know convince people to uh, work for us or, or you know help us. Over making it seem like it's their idea and, and making them feel all good about it, but in 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 reality, we're actually kind of uh, low key manipulating them to uh, do what we want to do because we can. Okay, but I don't waste any time. It's getting late now. I do suggest you head over towards the park. I look for them if possible. Richter and myself will still be here in the council student until evening time, and then we head home. So I'll be seeing you again tomorrow, hopefully. Well, I'll see you then, Virus. Yep, see you then. And I'll go and then right that, up. And you head out. And then, meanwhile, Azrael, after school ended, you actually want to head towards the park as fast as possible to actually meet Lumen, your sister, and then after that, your friend. But as you're running through the school hall, you got stopped by the teacher, or perhaps the principal. Ah! principal. Principal looks to you. Azrael, how many times do I have to tell you no running in the halls? But, 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 so I'm, I'm quite late, so I have to, uh, I have to, uh, rush. Uh, so is there anything else you, you want, uh, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't English. He grabs you by the shoulder. He grabs you by your left shoulder, ah! and after he presses it. I know you're our riding champ. I mean, in boxing, karate, judo, jujitsu, or many known martial arts, of course. But, but but then again, Azrael, you look at the principal, Principal Aizen, and then he looks to you. You must always remember, Azrael, that your muscles come from here. He pokes, he pokes at your heart, and then he pokes at your brain. Sometimes the best muscles to use is up here. Yeah. He points at your, he knocks on your noggin, Principal oh, Aizen. Oh. Principal Eisen is like said, remember, Azrael. <laughs> and then, my head. then he said, but I do not want to waste your time, Azrael. Of course, the other students are actually waiting for you right now at the park. And I do suggest that you should enjoy yourself. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, yeah. th 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 thank you, sir. Uh, and if th you have any extra class, I'll come for you. Okay, bye! Uh, yes. 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 Go properly, go properly, please. Okay, and then after that, you left. And then... Meanwhile... Can you just stop by? Okay. Pat, can you pause? Mm -hmm. And continue. Okay. Meanwhile, at the forest, Nathaniel, you'll be the clicking, click, click. Ah! And then click, click. And you can see Ryza in the distance. And after they're waving at you, Nathaniel, that's a lot of videos. Uh, and after that, you just click, click, click. You see her like running towards you, like the cute Jap little Japanese girl, like waving her hand left, right, left, right, laughing. <laughs> uh, DM, to be fair, you didn't put her model in, in, in the scene. I know. Because he's running towards the panel. Ah, she is there. Okay. Yes, I haven't shown it yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, just move a bit, like a bit, like moving, moving. Oh, uh, like there's like bumps. And, bump, and then she bumps into you. Uh. And then she bumps into your chest. And then the moment she actually bumps into your chest, okay, roll for wisdom saving throw, which of course there's none. So, uh. how to. And then after that, when you look at her, like, oh, you blush slightly. And then, then she said, oh. And then after that, she points to you, oh, look at this. She points to you at the butterfly. Uh, when you look at the butterfly, 
when you look at the butterfly in the tunnel, there seems to be something odd about the butterfly. You can't actually make out of it. Make, make us. What's happening, actually? Then, if you look at it properly, and then you see it, it's like, hmm. Then, you can roll for, uh, let's you know, science. Science? Okay. Science! Oh. Change uh, eh, difficulty. Uh, difficulty not thirteen. Thirteen ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. One three. Uh, normal, normal right. Mhm. Mm it's like uh, uh. You can't make uh, it out. And after that, this butterfly looks oh, look. very interesting. Is that? Hold it on your hand. Hold it on your hand. And I'm gonna take a picture that will make me have a Nobel Prize. The butterfly actually flew up from my hand. I'm actually just trying to chase after it. Come back, please. Come back. Come back. Oh, come back. I'm off, I'm off the screen. Come back. Come back. <laughs> I, I'm just like. And then she giggles. <laughs> Damn, I need to get myself a voice re voice changer next month. Okay. <laughs> and then after that, she just looks at you. And after you just turn, and you took some photograph of her running around with the butterfly. But as she was actually busy running around chasing the butterfly, suddenly she turns, and then she looks around, and then she said, hey, "Do you do you see that? Do you, do you see?" Then she points up in the sky. Do you see that light? It's like, it's like, I just, uh, the one I say the light is like, what light? That's like, I just look up the, the sky. What light? Like, that, that light over there. And after that, when you see the light, suddenly you feel as if the whole body is only feel slightly cold. And you're unsure what's actually happening. And then when you turn to actually see, you see that the floor started, started to actually stick. And you can see some sort the sand itself started to actually merge and it's slowly going from beneath your feet and seems to be forming and merging from a mud design. And this mud from beneath your feet started to actually appear and create some sort of humanoid creature. As the humanoid creature suddenly forms up, you're unsure what actually is to make of it. When you look at it, you're unsure what it is it even then the only but, thing you see and then you see right are actually like i push it to the back and say that uh wait stay back something is not right i'm not sure what is it but something is not right stay behind yeah, me you, you took a photo you move together with her and then in the distance you can see the foot this humanoid mud creature suddenly appear and then you see it screams at you. You can see its greyish color lines and stripes <laughs> around its body. Some sort of crystalline thing around its waist. And you can see it screams at you. <laughs> I take a picture. It's like, chick, chick. you know, it looks like something around here. It's like, take a silver picture. It's like, chick, 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 chick. Can I do it? <laughs> And then, Sorry, but I, I need to go first. I need to go for my dinner, so I can't show. So I continue with him after I finish my dinner. Okay, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, that's my son. Okay. What? Anyway, ignore. Uh, and then after that, you can see the, this mud creature like looking at you like, Wee! and then after that, suddenly from behind you, another mud started to actually started to form. Again, this human creature appear behind you, and then I said. Wee! I was like, I asked Reza, I asked, Reza, I, I, I asked the little sister, I was like, are they the, no, are they the usual fauna from around here? Because it's like, it's like taking pictures, like, they doesn't look like animals. They don't look like animals at all. Like, you, see, you see this creature charging towards Reza, trying to actually slash at her, what do you want to do? Because I want to take a closer picture. I want to take a closer picture so I push it back. Wait, how about by this time, are we able to transform? No right. We still no. haven't... No right. Nope. 
I I just push her to the back. I just push her to the back. It's like, get back! You're blocking my way! It's like, because you're taking pictures. <laughs> there you see it. This creature charging at you. About to actually take a picture. It swings because you're taking a picture of it. It hits you. If it hits you, it'll destroy your camera. Failure. <laughs> it's an eight. It's a what eight? <laughs> It says here, 8, failure, difficulty 13. No, 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 that was the previous one, not the current one. That's the ah, previous ah, okay. one. Your difficulty is 16. Okay, normal. Oh, 17. Oh, damn. <laughs> it swings its muddy hands at your camera. Your camera falls to the, through the mud. Crack, crack, crack. And then after that, your camera now on the floor. And then after that, you see the other creature charging at... Ryza herself trying to actually attack her from the back. What do you want to do? <laughs> I mean, like, I, I want to protect her, but the oh, okay. camera is still so... Wait, wait, wait! Not her either! Not her either! Oh my god! Okay, your mission now protect Ryza. Ryza, okay, I'll protect Ryza. But I have to pick up my camera first. <laughs> Because it's will automatically be hit, and it's a failure. Okay, then I'll, I'll protect her then, I'll protect her. It's like, right on! You have one HP, okay? She's not a superhero. I know! I know! It's like, right on, no! I, 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 I'll dodge, I'll dodge it, I was like trying to grab her and push her away or something like that. Okay, roll for your finesse. Finesse, uh, okay, finesse. Okay, finesse. Uh, DC 10 only, right? Yes. Normal? Oh, it's a success. You, you push her to the side, away from the pathway, as, as the creature actually swings its huge hands at her. Ryza actually looks, she actually falls on the ground next to your camera. You at least, if Ryza stays here even longer, they're either gonna attack her again or attack you. You cannot protect her for a very long time, but they seem to be focusing their attack on you. Okay, oh my god! Are you okay? Oh my god! I if you could, it's a free action. Okay, what you do? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my god, Ezra's gonna kill me! Okay. Now rolling for initiative. Okay, hold on. Let me let me roll for initiative. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, please don't be injured. Change. Uh, no. 18. Okay, Uh, uh, but before anything happens, I'm uh, just gonna shout this. Riza, take my camera and run! Tell the others! Tell the others what's happening here! I, I will fend them off! Even if I don't have the power to do so! I will fend them off! You run! Run to the brother! Tell him what happened! Okay, I forgot. The uh, parties are always acting. Always lost. Okay, no change, difficulty, then, uh, normal, pick. Hey, 16. And this one. Initiative, nope, 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 nope. Hey, five. Right, okay, just keep the initiative there. The Ryza heard what you said. He said to actually run. She looks at you. And then she said, what is that? What is that? And after that, she took your camera and ran off. And then you hear the... I don't know you are. She you know a bit of martial art. Azrael did teach you how to punch and how to kick, but that's only just the basics. But the creature is going to slam at you from left to right with their big 
claws, the big hands. What do you want to do? I, I will try to punch. Oh, right. Hasbro, teach me how to punch. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think, is, is it strike? I think it's strike. I can't remember. Uh, Wait, no is it, it, it should be under uh, weapons. I was like, ah! I was like, I thought that was, ah! yeah. <laughs> even with, I didn't even tell you the DC. <laughs> so even DC 10, you can't even hit. So no, no point. Uh, actually, you're supposed to be the DC 13. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't DC matter, her, but I, I'm not that skilled on fighting. You, so I'm not that skilled. To, you tried, you, what you saw what Azrael did today. He let out a left hook, right hook. You tried to do the same. Here! The party didn't even move. This creature didn't even move. It looks at you and looked and turns to you. Huh? And then now they're turning to attack. What? What? As well, he did it so gracefully. What is wrong with me? And then. Okay, okay. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Okay, and then. <laughs> wow. Against your. 16, 16 and it's a hit you got slapped but you got hit from oh, the back much, and then it, it grapples you uh, and then, the then the other one also lunge an attack now with us now with an edge uh, oh my god oh. why did you teach me something that's wrong <laughs> oh, my oh god. no and then they grab you. Both of them actually grab you from the back and from the front. But they're actually trying to actually grab you and bring you away. And like, guys, guys, I, I don't play sausage. I prefer blood. I don't play sausage. Guys. Kentucky fried chicken! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer abalone! I prefer abalone! I don't like sausages! Thank and you very much! As they're about to actually drag you away, you see, some, suddenly, you hear two shots. <laughs> like a gunshot. Bang! Bang! Like really loud. And then after that, you see these two parties actually, you see their head exploded right in front of you. Both of them, both their heads, splat, splat. And after that, they just fall. And then after they dissolve into mud. And then uh, from within the forest itself, you turn, you are completely terrified, Nathaniel. You're not too sure what actually happened. When you turn to actually face, you see something sort like an elderly man with a weapon on his hand. And then after that, he looks at you and he said, are you okay, my child? He walks over towards you. You notice that hey. this man, those creatures that grab you, they are known as potties. They are the weakest form of creatures that have been summoned by Rita Repulsa. And I believe that I have a strong belief. But as you're about to actually talk to him, suddenly from Mushes itself, you see another creature suddenly appeared, and then you have face of a cobra. And then after that, you can see some sort of belt around his waist, and you can see his long serpentine tails circling around his arms. And he speaks to you, Walter Cross. It's a surprise to see you again here. And Walter Cross said, Look. Wait, I killed you. I saw you die in the lab. My wife, she, her sacrifice was for naught. Come, child. We have no time to discuss. Papa, you just see him. Run with me now. And you, you run. You and you run. Together <laughs> with this old, you run together with this old man, running away from whatever creature this thing is. And then, as you ran as far as you can, you ran towards an abandoned warehouse, far away from the park itself, far away from the city, making sure that perhaps Raisa is safe, and this old man actually brings you to this warehouse as fast as he can. And then after that, they hit. 
turns to him. The warehouse itself seems to be old. He said, Chang Chao, what's your name? He says. What is what? your name? What is what? Yeah, what is gonna kill I can't hear you, child, but you have to stop screaming at least for once. That creature behind us is just a matter of time until he will chase us. But what is your name? My name? Name? My name, 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 my name is Nathaniel, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Joseph Quinn, and I'm gonna die, am I not? Oh my god. No, you won't. You must persevere, Nathaniel. You must persevere. He grabs you with the shoulder, but as then, as he is about to actually say something, suddenly the windows crash from behind, and then you can see the serpentine creature again lunging through and then seeing you and also this old man then the man actually push you to the back takes his gun and then shoot at this super tank creature lizardo you will not get any closer and then the creature then turns to actually seize you and then this man and said and then the snake said without your armor water cross you are useless you are just a shell of your former selves. Neo Shoka will rule this world just like the previous one. And then you can see the old man has said, Not while I'm still alive and the future's hope is being held by people, young people, those with the courage to go against you. Then he takes out his gun and after he switched the bullet, he twists the side of the bullet and you see the bullet change color to red instead. And then you see Walter Cross and says, and he twists his pistol and clocks and he says, fireball. Then after he shoots at the creature and the creature just flies away from a blast and flies crashing towards the wall and to the other side. And then Walter Cross then turns to you and he said, they will not hold him for long, child, but I will keep him at bay at first. Can you keep a secret? It does. He looks at you. How about uh, you just see that he's doing the, the big mouth to like, and he's like, <gasps> so he's, he's just like nodding, nodding. He's like, he didn't even listen to what he's saying. He's just like nodding, nodding. He's like, oh, okay, okay. I will keep this creature as long as I can. But do you have anybody, anyone that you trust around your circle of friends? Do you have friends that you trust the most with your life, Nathaniel? Uh, yeah, 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 I guess, I guess. You do not like, get. It's either a yes or a no. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. yes. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, so, oh. It's like the, the magic up guy, the magic up guy. Magic up guess. <gasps> yeah. And then you can see the old man. Then suddenly like I said, I want you to take this. He gives you a silver suitcase. And then the only thing you see in the front of the suitcase is the word Gaia. I want you to protect this suitcase with your life, Nathaniel. You want me to protect her? It's like, because Gaia, you know, Gaia works with us. Like, you want me to protect her? Yes. Like, look at him. Look at him you and look at the silver case. <laughs> You will be of new protectors, Nathaniel. Until then, <laughs> if uh, I survive, uh, 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 like, he just like couldn't he just stuttering. He couldn't even say anyone. Uh, 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 uh. Run, Nathaniel. Protect this. Run. Uh, uh, okay. okay. He screams at me. He screams. Run! Like start running, he's like start running, and it's like start running. Then you run. Then you run. You. He just dig himself off. He just dig himself off. Then you run, and after that you see the creatures only jump off as you turn to the back, and then after that the only conversation you hear is like, "You was bold of you to give those keys to the young Walter. You believe they can protect Earth." Even your friends couldn't protect us. 
and you hear Walter and speaks out. You hear his last name. The creature calls him Walter. You only know him as Walter. And you whisper underneath your breath that and as you clutch the briefcase close to your chest as you ran. And the creature that speaks, Once I deal with you, I will kill the young child and I will take those crystals. The shattered crystals will then be used by my queen to rule the world as she sees fit. Not while I'm still alive. Then after that, you, as you ran, as you ran, you hear the gunshots again. Bang. Bang. And then after that, you ran towards the next room. You trip and fell. The moment you trip and fell, the suitcase opens up. And then after that, something slides to the side of the floor as you slowly let go up. You went over to the suitcase. You look at the belt. You look at something, like some sort of belt. You're not sure what it is. But... Not Earth? This is not Earth at all! What the hell is this? This is a fucking belt! Within the suitcase itself, you see others. Like some sort of figurine. They look like some sort of figurine, but with in cast within crystals itself. You see within the, the crystal, one is orange, one is white, one is green, and one is crimson red. But there are others too. But too many for you to actually figure out. As you see the wall, the windows around you started to actually crash. And you see the same creature appear before you, slowly walking their way towards you after that, like saying, Kaki, 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 then you actually, uh, what do you want to uh, do? Let me, 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 Kaki, 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 No, 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 I'm too young to die, I'm too young to die, I'm gonna die, I haven't even got to my love of my life yet, oh my god, Kaki, sure. Kaki, you see the door in front of you, Nathaniel. What do you do? Do you leave the suitcase there and the, and then the thing that fell out of it and run off with your life? No, oh, I'll take it with me because it might be, it might be valuable. It's like, no, 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 you get back in, you get back in. It's like, I'm taking the belt. It's like, what do you want with me? What do you want with this? What do you want with any of this? It's supposed to be a field trip. Today is supposed to be a field trip. I'm supposed to take some pictures, sell some pictures. And, 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 and mix uh, myself some money and you guys have to come and disturb my peaceful life. What? Cookie, cookie. They didn't respond. The only thing they said was cookie, cookie. But you open up that door and ran off towards the forest. Yeah, As you ran, we just a case, we just a case. <laughs> you ran towards the forest, followed by those creatures. They look at you. With a suitcase around, you look around. But as you hold that belt on your hand, you notice that it started to actually glow and vibrate on your left hand. And then after that, you hear a voice within your head. Uh, uh, Herb, uh, once, once the cue for the fun uh, comes in, tell me, because I'm going to move the robot voice. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. You hear a voice in your head, as if somebody is telling you, telepathically telling you, like a voice telling you in your head, Nathaniel. And you hear this voice coming, Nathaniel. Put the belt around your waist. Where is this from? And call forth his power. The key yeah. is within. Raise the key up into the sky and call forth his power and scream out loud and say, and he should. Okay every, time, okay, if every time you say something, those, those creatures will move closer to you. I was like, okay, okay, I'll trust you God, I'm not a very religious guy, but I'm gonna trust you! And, and then you just hear that he put the, he put the belt behind, uh, what, on his belt, on his waist, it's like, uh, what's the word? Anshin? Hangu! Anshin? Like, like, like the, like the, my favorite anime, Henshin? You, you put it in the flag, and you like, uh, Henshin? Uh, no, wrong. And after you try to do it again, um, uh, Henshin? Henshin? No, 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 not Henshin! Uh, uh, Henshin! Hangu! 
Does it do anything about it? <laughs> and then, uh, I will say, and she again. That when only when you change, and when you look at yourself, you're unsure why are you, you notice that your right hand is like white in color and your left is like like black. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I really need to get that sound effect from YouTube. And then, then after that, you feel you feel as if that your body is coursing with power, Nathaniel. And then you hear the name. The bell actually click, call out the name of his power, and it says, "Ganda Joka." But, and after you hear the name, not only that, you hear "Kamen Rider Joka." But. You look, you look at this creature, suddenly they're like so terrified, they move back. Cookie! Cookie! Oh, oh. It just turned! It's like he's, he's like so excited, it's like I just turned into this! Holy shit! Is this what the camera rider I was. Good! It's like he just, he just see that he's looking at his hand and everything is like examining his whole entire body. Like, Holy shit, this is so cool! Oh, you guys are afraid of this, huh? It's like, oh yeah! Uh, roll for initiative, Yan. Alright, okay. Yan, because open up your character sheet and also click on is morphing time. Oh, okay, it's more free. Uh, okay, so the initiative should be different, is it? Okay. Usually, your stats would be, your stats would should have a uh, boost increase. I think, let me check. There's something wrong. Oh, yeah, you didn't fill it up, no wonder. Uh, yeah, there should be something, is it? There should be something. Yeah, yeah because under your perks, armor, and bonus, there should be numbers in here, not zero, 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 not zero, zero, zero. Perks, armor, and bonus should have a number. Like when you wear a light armor, how much increase does a light armor give you? How much down the toughness increase? Oh. It's okay. You can do that after the game ends. Okay. Uh, yeah. Zap and I then can teach you how to actually increase it. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. So initiative, right? You only roll for initiative. You don't have to roll. Okay. Okay. Uh... Now let me go through combat to you. Okay. I'm I'm gonna homebrew combat system for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I read the rules, I don't really like it. Now I'm gonna change it. Okay, if your speed is 6, okay? If your speed is 6, you can move up to... You can move up to 30 feet, which is, which takes one move one speed action, attack, take one speed action, defend, take one action, and then after that, any skills like acrobatics or finesse or athletics and so on, use an action. So let's just say, for example, if you're standing still at one spot, you can do six attack at one opponent. But if you move, even if you move five feet, it takes a movement action. It takes your speed. So you you have six action points based on your speed. Oh, very Ooh. dynamic. I'm liking this. Yes. Okay. So if you move to this opponent, it takes one action, meaning giving you five other actions to do. Meaning five ah. attack. Because you are a speed-based common rider. Okay, uh, I'll go back to my... Okay, I'll be here. I was like, Ooh, I wonder what does this do? <laughs> Hold on, yeah. Let me click. Let me click. Let me click. Let me click. Yes, yeah, it's an uh, Their difficulty is 11. Oh, so, 11. So it's a miss. Okay. Ah, you you took out, you took out your blade buster like a pistol, and you shoot. Pew! You are sure how to use it, and you miss. Oh no! This is a gun. Oh! I've never played with a gun before. That's one action. Yes, that's ah. one action. Okay. How 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 about this? Actually, if you want to keep track of your action, click on your token. The circles on top of you put your HP and your how many actions you have and remaining actions. Uh, 11 right, Herbert. 11 right. What do you mean 11? Difficulty is difficulty. Difficulty is 11. Uh, nope. nope. <laughs> Even with 11, I cannot, man. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I am that bad, man. What the hell? Remember your circle, fill up your circles, yeah? The circle on top of your hand, the tokens. Circle, so. Oh, okay, okay. I, I know, I know. Because like, you, need to ah! keep, you need to keep track of how many actions can you do. Okay, and no problem. Six. If yeah, HP is four, your action is six, you'll be acted twice, you will four more. What do you do? It's like, oh, no, no, not my gun, not my thing. Uh. You know what? I'm just gonna go up and and and, and try to punch you. Hiya! Okay, one move already done, and then I'm gonna strike. Right, no, no change. Is it showing? Uh, nope. six. Oh my god, what is wrong with my rolls, man? <laughs> wow, you you are panicking. Yeah, first time. <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of explained. Kind of explained. It's like, no! Uh, okay, let me try this. Good damn it, Ezra! You, teach, you taught me all this and that. They are useless! Hey, I success! Like, like, I, like, immediately, I went, like, I, I, I went, when I complained, I was like, hiya! I was like, oh! Oh! Okay, it works now! Sorry, Ezra! <laughs> Okay, one more, one more is one more is this. Mm -hmm. Last one, your last one. Yeah, last one, last one. Wait, uh, oh my god. I'm just not gonna change the difficulties. I'm actually. Okay, another hit. Oh! Yes. Oh! Critical I success think... or more? It's a critical. Okay. I do suggest to make the game more interesting. Don't call it strike, don't call it brawling. Okay? Oh, no, no, no. This, this was. This was. I just directly copy from the book. I just directly copy from the book. Ah, to make it later. more interesting, call it maybe like hook name punch name. and then spinning back kick or something like that. You know. Like, yeah. Give it a name martial name. name instead. Okay. Okay. The party is destroyed. <laughs> then and the other party like run <laughs> and jump <laughs> right in front of you. And now it's your turn. It's like I just dodge. I just dodge. Yeah! Wait, my turn again? No, so it's like six actually is it a bird? Yes. It's like okay, here I go! Nope! Nope, 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 wrong, wrong. This is the one that's wrong. Okay, You're so far away, so it's an auto miss. You're not even close. Brawling is a uh, five feet. Uh, you have to get close, Yan. Okay, okay, a uh, one, two, three, or uh, another three more. Yeah. Okay, now it's eleven, it's a miss. I just did I just didn't bother to change the attack like, because I want to pick up fast. Okay. Oh my god, I'm seriously missing left and right. What is this? That's one. That's one. Nope, I'm I'm missing everything. It's like no, 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 I'm too <laughs> And then after the party attacks. <laughs> I think your difficulty is still 16 because I don't know will they increase or not with your armor. Nope, that's a miss. It's like you invade because you are in a vision type. So you, try, you use invade instead. You dodge and you dodge and you dodge. You try to swing at you and miss. Okay, now it's your turn. You slice it and after that the party is destroyed and then dissolve into mud. And after that you turn. You're unsure. But with the suitcase around you. But before you can even turn back towards the warehouse to see if all the cross is still safe or sound or not. But you notice that you heard sounds of screaming. Sounds of more <laughs> sounds of more creatures actually charging towards you. And then heading towards the park. What are you gonna do, Nathaniel? You uh, know that the other students are in the park. I what is it called? I I I charge towards the the sound of it. Okay. The sound is like, oh no, more people! Charge! Okay. 
to charge, thinking that your friends will be safe. But meanwhile, at the pub, Zyrus and Azrael, when you arrive at the pub, you're surprised to actually see a number of lights appearing within the sky itself and land from all the nearby park. All the other citizens, all the other students were actually surprised when you noticed that the floor that you're standing on, the mud, started to actually appear and then form to create a humanoid creature. At first, it terrified you at most. You see Lumen actually pointing in the distance. Uh, and then after that, this creature suddenly actually forms up to create some sort of humanoid form. You notice they actually appear before you and then Zyrus. You only thought Zyrus and as well, the only thought that you have in your mind is to actually protect Lumen and all the other students are actually being attacked. And then you can see the creature say, and then you see like, like Lordies. He's like, uh. and then Lumen like said, they keep saying patties, patties. I think those are patties. That's what she said. Take the clay. Well, whatever they are, they are dangerous and we need to get rid of them for the sake of the students and of course yourself, Lumen. And so, let's... Yeah, I, I turned to the parties and I'm like, you're not going to hurt anyone today, not on my watch. And then after that, Lumen looks for Grail, looks at you. Do you think that Daniel and Reza is safe? She said. Reza! I hope she's safe. She's I hope so too, but I don't have time to worry about that at the moment. She's my it's sister. Something. And then after she's that, just... the puppies actually charge at both of you. And after that, they try to actually grapple you and try to grab you. But you push both all of them away. And after that, more actually appear. You gotta be kidding me. Well. And then roll for initiative, Azrael and Virus. Your objective? Protect Lumen. Yeah. How do you roll initiative in this one? Click on the character sheet. Yeah. You see the skill called initiative under speed? Oh. That's your initiative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got 13 but I didn't, didn't show up. No idea why. What difficulty? Uh, just, just, put, just put 10 for now. Yeah, just put 10. Okay. Let me try again. How come you didn't? It's just seven, right? You're just taking seven. It doesn't matter if it's a reveal or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just take uh, the seven. Uh, I have no idea why why it won't show up for me. How do you roll? I got thirteen. Hit your token. I did. Pick on token. Initiative. <laughs> Change submit. Yeah, it still won't pop up. I is got it? I, yeah, I don't know, I, but I got thirteen. Virus is there. Uh, a lot of thirteen. You want to reason the results? Okay. Check on your character sheet. I am checking on it. Click. Initiative. Okay, let's choose specialization this time. <laughs> yeah, it still won't pop up. No idea why. Wow. Uh, uh, Hook, can you help me? Is that, uh, I said boss. Yeah, okay. Just give me a moment. Let's go. Here. As the parties actually arrive to actually attack you. Meanwhile, while the crowd is actually busy, some of this attack have been broadcast on television, with some reporters actually pointing and looking at these puppies attacking students, young adults, especially teenagers. You're not too sure why. They're actually ignoring the older citizens of Violet City. And this news is actually being broadcast on TV itself. But meanwhile, so Jason, why are you busy at the garage? You actually watched the fight earlier on where Azrael beating the crap out of Adam White. But as they were actually all enjoying themselves at the park, 
you see a number of creatures known as puppies suddenly are appearing and then attacking people. But what you notice is they're attacking young adults, people who are apparently around your age. I just simply, what do you want to do? I just simply say, Dad, get, get a two by four and follow me. We got a we got a riot in our hand. We got to protect the shop and the people. As he basically... There's nobody at the shop. Oh. You're the only one in the shop. Your dad left somewhere else to actually head towards his office. And then your older brother, your older brother, Michael, is not nowhere to be seen. Mm. But as you're actually streaming out, you hear bangs banging outside the door of the garage itself. You hear voices banging on the garage door. What do you do? I just simply rush to, you know, um, to the garage door and say, We're closed, damn it! Buzz off before I end you! Legally! Okay. All right. Okay. Roll for deception. These are uh, DC fifteen with a snack. Okay. Uh, deception. Uh, no specialization, obviously. And uh, skill shift. No skill shift, is it? Yeah, no, no skill shift. Okay. And the difficulty is fifteen, is it? Yes. Okay. And submit. And you said with a snack, yeah. Snack. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I knew that it would happen. You try to lie towards this thing, you aren't sure what it is. <laughs> and then after that, suddenly, as you try to actually pull the, the weight of the garage door down, throw for might. Okay. It was now. Difficulty 50. Okay. I am specialized with might, so I'll use my specialization for this one. <laughs> and no skill shift. Difficulty 15 and with a snag. Oh man! Thank you. Bye. And then you try to pull it out, but you notice that this creature suddenly like just pull up the branch of the door of your garage. And then you can see like these creatures suddenly like looking at you. And then you move back at your tree trying to actually defend yourself from these creatures itself. And then after you walk into the garage, you see two of them walking towards you. I just simply say, Oh man, what a drag. Uh, but the perfect day for a picnic too. I just don't want to engage in a... In a useless fight. Oh well. I mean, if I'm gonna teach some rowdy customers that closed means closed, I guess I gotta do it. And he like cracked his knuckles. Crack the knuckles. And after you look at his picture. <laughs> and then, but yours will be in the last part. Now let's do it here first. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the top battle. Yeah, the puppies. They charge. And then stop right in front of your face. But one of them actually jump on top of the bench trying to grab Lumen. You notice that as well. But I punched him. Wait, no, uh, it's not my turn yet. It's not my turn. My, uh, uh, after the last part, it's my turn. Um, Aaron, okay. your turn. Can I move and hit, or is move, moving the uh, Maybe, action? Let me check your speed. You have a speed of 1. You can only move, but cannot attack. Hmm. You are very slow. You only have one attack. You can only move. If you move, you can't attack. You have to stand still. You have to defend. What do I have here? I've only got brawling, so I've got nothing else, otherwise I have to do both. Um, you can't morph yet. Yeah, I've got, I've, I know, I know. I'll use brawling to attack the uh, party right in front of me. Uh, that's a range of five. You Should can't hit. 
Can't reach. Yes. They're not radiation right where I am. What? Um... Mike then! Mike then! Uh, I got 19. Yeah, you got 19. You're supposed to act. Yeah, I act then. I'll just act first. Before Nathaniel. Okay, I act first. I protect Lumen. I want to actually move. And then, in front of. Uh, I stand between her and the party. I punch it. You punch this one. Okay, you swing and you punch. Uh, two handed combo punch. Okay, you just move over there and one action left. Yeah, just Don't one. Remember. Okay, alright. Just one punch. Okay, you miss. Okay. The difficulty is 13. So if you go into the uh, close range, the DC is 13. At long range, is DC is 11. Ah, okay. Yes. And then after that, Nathaniel haven't arrived yet. Okay, party patrollers. They come. And they try to actually grab Lumen. I'm between her and the rest of the party. They have to go through my dead body. Okay, difficulty, your difficulty is 16, I mean, don't... Uh, it's 18, actually. Oh, okay, 18. Oh, wow, we have one more here, okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah. even 18 also, they managed to actually tackle. Yeah. Then one of the party actually got over towards Cyrus and attacks. I think Zyra's difficulty should be higher than that. How do I know what difficulty it is? Uh, toughness. Oh uh, yeah, your toughness is 13, your evasion is 11. Okay, so basically I score 13 and okay. Okay, the parties actually go over to you, Zyra's. These creatures are different than anything you see. You thought that these creatures look like those creatures that you've seen in Dungeons and Dragons, the board game that you play with your council students. But this one just walks over to you slowly, tiptoeing, and give you a slap on the face. Bow! And you drop your HP by one. You have one HP left. Alright. And then this other party attacks Azrael. Or try to actually grab Lumen. Okay, against DC of 18. And then Azrael, as the creature tries to grab Lumen, you actually you actually pushes this creature away. Not in your lifetime. I remain in my stance. Alright, okay, Zyrus. The only creature close to you is this one. You only have one movement. What do you do? Well, because he's uh, within reach of me, I will attack him. Mm -hmm. Using uh, brawling. You're not a fighter, but you only have one attack. Either a kick or a punch. Kick or a punch? That's yeah, up to you. What do you want to do? Mark, uh, um, I will use kick. No specialization, no skill shift. What's the difficulty? 30. 1 3? 1 3. Oh. One, three. No edge snag? Nope. No edge, no snag. Normal. I kick him. Okay. You kick the party. Pow! And after you just move it back. And after that, it just dissolves. And then like fall to the ground. And that's it. That's your action. And then last party comes over. Pati, pati! And then attacks you. I'm so ready to die. Your toughness is only 13. So I'm gonna put here 13. Normal, and then after that, you actually saw the attack coming, and then you you actually block with your left hand before the before the creature about to hit you. But you notice this flimsy creature seems to be quite. And then round five, okay, round five, Nathaniel, right, you are alive. I'm gonna punch the one in front of me. Okay, you first before Nathaniel. I punched him to the face. The one that grabbed Lumen, this one. Yeah, the one that is grabbing Lumen. I'm punching him to the face. Second punch! This one. Definitely just falls. 
and dissolves. And then after that, Nathaniel, you arrive at the scene. You see your friends Azrael and Cyrus fighting these puppy creatures. And one of them actually trying to grab open your friend uh, away. That's what I miss. Oh no. Alright, miss. Oh, I can always do Azrael! Don't hit you! He's like, you're seeing a guy in the armor carrying you from the side. <laughs> Uh, he ignores it and focuses on this first. It's, uh, it's my turn, right, Herbert? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. I was like, I, I shall assist you! Yeah. Like, okay, I move. I move to here. That's one. Then I try to... Well, I move, I try to rider kick him. No. Uh, would you would you do maximum drive? Because I'm prepared to change the voice. No, 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 no. You doesn't know how to do maximum drive yet. No, okay. I just like, I just call it the right Okay, as well, suddenly you notice this white thing in armor suddenly run towards you and it jumps up and then suddenly kicks the creature. The moment you realize this, you think that this person must be a companion or somebody that can protect you. Uh, in my head, I say, ah, back up. Had to see some help. Okay, do you hit? Try the kick. Uh, nope, it's a miss. 11 is too low against his toughness of 13. You just push it to the side, and that's about it. It's like, yeah. I'm to help. help! Good! The creature again wait, walks over. Wait, 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 Herbert, I have like, I have like what? Uh, four more, four more attacks. <laughs> four more attacks. Yeah. Alright, go ahead. You move again, you take one action. Oh no, I, I'm not moving. Nope, you miss. No, it's it's too far. It's reach. Range is reach. Okay. If you move uh, attack, remember yeah, okay, moving takes one action. Attack takes one action. Moving takes it's another action. One. Attack takes one action. It's the last one. Oh nope. It, it is, oh my god, what is wrong? No. Attack. Okay, 14 should be a success, right, Herbert? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, 13 is a success. Hit. And after, after you hit the party, and after you destroy it again. But you will still see the mud there going. It just sips into the ground and disappears. It's not completely destroyed. And then after that, Zyrus, you see this mysterious person landing not far from you, protecting Azrael and Lumen. What do you do? Okay. Uh, I'm like, well, I'm kind of glad that uh, Lumen is safe. And um, Ezreal can take care of himself. And I turn to this party over here, and I'm gonna attack him. Alright, you swing. With, uh, punch. Okay, you swing a punch. DC 13. Normal, no snack. Yep. <sighs> hey, it's a hit. Yeah, this is it. And after that, you just swing, randomly swing your hands, hitting this creature, and it just falls backward. And after that, it disappears and disappears into the floor. But you notice that for every creature that you destroy, you see that the mud underneath your feet started to actually flow towards the south, heading towards the other section of the park. Okay, but you managed to protect Lumen. Lumen actually like looks to this white hero next to her and then he said, Whoever you are, thank you, she said. But but uh, are you friend or are you foe? she asked. She looks to you, Nathaniel. It's me, Nathaniel! You know right now. You know right now. Wow. Immediately want to reveal your secret identity to Lumen. Well, well, I, we we don't we know there's such thing as uh, yeah. a secret identity. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's it's not in the character to know that you have supposed to be a secret identity. Okay. Plus, but you're in your show with Azria, so like he can hear you as well. Not uh -huh. the Daniel. Yeah, it's me. It's like oh, oh my god, I, I turned into this thing. I, 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 there's so much thing that I have to tell you, and I do not know where to start, where to begin with. 
I grabbed Nathaniel by his shoulder. Nathaniel, where's Liza? Where's my sister? She, she must have gone. Oh, I, I, I have her run away and she, she must have gone to have sent some help. She's safe, I promise. Yeah. Oh, I need to find her. Well, same as me, I have the one to. Yeah, you're what? the one that. You're the one that. I'm like this. I look at Zyrus. Zyrus, can you take Lumen to safety? Yeah, sure. Zyrus, yeah, I know that. No. I'll look for Liza myself. Zuman, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. What's crazy right now is I'm looking at Nathaniel wearing this piece of armor. Is that? Uh, we don't have time to argue now. Let's move and find Ryza first. We can but argue later. You notice that Lumen has been like, you see Lumen disappears and then suddenly like running away towards a different direction. Leaving you, Zyrus, and Nathaniel on the field. But, as you were there, suddenly, you hear a scream somewhere towards the direction where the, song, where the crowd is actually running from. What do you want to do? It could be rise up. I quickly move. Rise up! I'm coming! Uh, I follow behind as well back. It's like, wait, hold on! I just follow behind as well back. <laughs> I don't know how to unmorph her, but <laughs> the thing is that I have no idea how to unmorph. <laughs> oh, it's just a flip. Token. I mean, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. I, I meant as in character. As in character, right. he doesn't know how to uh, He doesn't know how to unmorph. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So he's literally running around. He's literally running around in this suit of armor that he doesn't know how to unmorph. <laughs> okay. But uh, uh, do you uh, feel of you head towards the sound? I am. Uh, Only you. What do I want to do? <laughs> Now let's go help some people. Uh, I am getting comfortable up to all, so gotta keep all those two then people safe. So I follow. Okay. okay, right there, we're crossing. It's time for six and Okay, but meanwhile, at the garage. Mm -hmm. Hey! Right, Vincent, you see two parties looking at you. <laughs> You don't waste any time. Immediately you charge towards them, and after that deliver a double kick to one of them. A double. You actually did a flying kick. Double flying kick. One to the chest here, and another one time to the chest here. Roll your attack. Okay, so I roll my attack. Is it? Yeah, you got four attacks. Okay. Uh, I'm specialized, and no skill shift. Uh, difficulty. Okay, that's the first attack, and it's normal, and that's one hit, and that's, whoops, and that's normal, that's fail. You have two more, two more action you can do, it follows your speed. Yeah, 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 just uh, give me a moment as I type the numbers. That's another hit. Um, no skill shift, difficulty is 13. And all three attacks hit except one of them. I basically go full Bruce Lee on, on them like... Uh, guys, be a bit, uh, uh, I, I, need, I need to do something. Be right back. You jump like kick and then pop, 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 pop. And then both the party, the pity, pity. And after that, you destroy them completely. Mm -hmm. And then they dissolve into mud. 
you know, to show what was that all about. But you're sure they actually wanted to kidnap you. But before anything could actually happen, Jason, suddenly you see the other side of the garage door open, and then you see your brother Michael appear before you. And after he screams out, Jason, what was that all about? No, no, a couple of things. They attacked the place. As soon as I, you know, gave them the one-two punch that you taught me, and next thing I know, pointing to the pile of sand in, you know, in front of me. That's what they turned. They just turned into sand. They, they, they wanted to kidnap me for some reason. Careful, bro. Same they here. Might want to your, brother, your brother is just one year older than you, and he's like, same here, brother. But we may still use our skills for good use. I think the city is actually being overwhelmed. These creatures are everywhere. I suggest you actually head towards downtown. I'm going to head over up to the north and see what I can do. Definitely. And see about that. Safe. Definitely. Call dad and mom. Make sure that they're safe. As I, you know, I exit the garage door heading, following the screams uh, of people who are running. I'm like running in the opposite direction. I run towards, you know, the danger, not away from it. Yeah, you run towards the danger. You think to yourself, what's actually going on? But then, meanwhile, for Nathaniel and the others, chasing after the sounds itself. Okay, I'm back. Alright, okay, that uh, you thought you missed out one scene, one very important scene, but it's okay. Alright, okay. okay. So Daniel, you hear the sounds of the screen. You see Ryza being cornered by two puppies. And then she said, Pucky, Pucky. Then she tried to actually move away. <laughs> what do all we want to do? I instinctly do a Rhino Rush. It's a charge attack. Words That's too far away. Oh, oh okay. Uh, you look at the map. They're too okay. far away. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, wait. Uh, who's turn first? Is it is it my turn or is it uh, Azrael's turn first? Okay. Still using the same initiative order. Again. Okay. Right. Uh, that means it's still their turn, but in the distance. Suddenly, you see another creature also appear, not far from where you are. The creature is different than any puppies. It's not even a puppy when you look at it. It seems to have scales all around its body. It seems to be bigger than usual. And then, as it appears, it actually lands on top of the truck right in front of you and then if you see this creature that just lands and then it says ah it seems that cross has given the key to you. Uh, then you start to smell the air uh, annoying teenagers <laughs> hey now, Azrael, Nathaniel, what are you going to do? I ignore this guy. I quick, With my two action, I dash 80, 80 uh, feet towards, towards Ryza. Ryza! Uh, okay. about, I, I'm about to go 80 feet, <laughs> suddenly the creature land in, right in front of you, Azrael, grab you by the collar of your jacket, and then throws ah. you to the other side of the truck. Hitting the side of the clock. What are you? <laughs> you lose one. You lose one HP. And you notice that this creature is strong. My name is Giba Condor, and I serve Neos. Hey, Nathaniel. You notice this creature is way strong, stronger than any party. And Zyrus, you notice that this creature just grabbed Azrael, the strongest among you all, the strongest student in high school, like a rock doll. I didn't bother with him. I didn't bother with him, but because I'm still in my armor, I'm still in my morphine suit, uh, it says here that all your jump distance maximum is tripled. So I will assume my yeah, distance is 30. I'm Hello? I'm gonna pause you here for a while. Um, do you really want to fight 
Or you, would you just rather just give the ranger key to Cyrus and to Rael? Wait, so the key is with me, is it? You are holding yeah. the suitcase. I ah. thought that was just for me. I thought that was just for me. That's why. No, 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 no. Only the belt is there, but the others are just keys, but not for you. Ray, ah. I said ranger key earlier on. Ah, okay, sorry, I didn't hear that. My bad. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, what was it called? It's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just stole one of the keys to you. I was like, I don't know what the heck. I grabbed one. Before I, 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 that was that action, right, Herbert? That considered action, or that just was normal? Normal action. You throw one key towards Azrael. Azrael, you look at the crystal. The crystal is white in color. And you can see it's. And the crystal actually shines. You can see some sort of an out, like an astral aura from within the crystal itself that shows some sort of a rhino, and you can sense its coursing power as it touches your hand. And then, Nathaniel, you show the other crystal, a crimson red crystal, towards Cyrus. And Cyrus, when you look at it, you can feel the fiery power of the crystal from within. But in the distance, Azrael, as you're bleeding, you notice in the distance another person actually ran towards the basketball court. And then you can see Jason Tennyson in the distance. Nathaniel, Zyrus, and Azrael, you know Jason Tennyson is one of the new students that just arrived at Violet Park, at Violet City High School itself. But Jason, you notice this creature in the distance with scales huge even. And even bigger than and even bigger than Azrael, throwing him like a ragdoll easily. But in the distance, you can see this beautiful girl that you know from junior high itself. She's quite young, Raisa Medico, being surrounded by the parties in the distance. Uh, You're not too sure as you turn to the left, you see Azrael and also Cyrus and Nathaniel as they're actually picking up some sort of crystal in the distance. But Nathaniel, you see Jason. And you don't see anybody else here. But you look at the crystal. You look at it. You look at the green one. What do you do? Do you throw it to him? Of course you can. It's a sim it's a very small crystal. And what's your decision? Can you hear me? Can you hear my no, screen? You oh okay, my god, I my fucking lie, I swear to god. <laughs> okay, say say the words. I just tossed the fucking crystal at him. Jason ran, goes as far as he can. He jumps into the air and grabs the crystal and roll on the floor. And then look at the crystal. The crystal course with power. Jason, that you hold it, the green crystal. And then you look at it. And then you hold it. And then after that, you know, you see images in your head. And then images in your head of former heroes. In images in Azrael, Cyrus, and also yours. And then you hear a voice in all three of your head. Telling you a voice, loud, a, a commanding voice, and said, The crystal that you have picked up is the crystal of all former Power Rangers and Super Sentai scattered throughout the universe. Call forth their names, and the power will course through you, and you will be the new Power Ranger. And then after that, okay, what the three of you do? Uh, some is Iris first, uh, some is Iris. Okay, Zyrus, oh, what do you do? I, 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 haven't, I haven't done my movement. It was my turn, but I haven't done my movement yet. Okay, Zyrus, what do you do first? Uh, I don't know about power, but if it helps me protect the school, man, let's go for it. I'll think about Ooh. it later. Right now, do the scene! Do, do the henshin scene! It's your henshin scene, boy! Do it! What? The, the, the voice in your head said to you, to the three of you, and said, you must morph into the power of these rangers and use their powers for good. Okay, so and then I say, I say something cool like, "Can I morph now?" Yeah, yeah but you have to say, but you have to say it out first. Okay, I can. Okay, like if you try to kidnap Lumen, you, you attacked um, Israel, you attacked Nathaniel, you att attacked all the innocent people in this school. Right? Absolutely nothing to do to deserve that, and for that you will pay. So I grab this crystal and I say, "Cut to power!" And then I just have to. Here, click on your character token, right click, 
multi-sided two side. Done. Quantum power you scream out. And then after that, Azrael actually looks at the crystal. And after that, you jump up on top of the truck, looking at this creature that threw you earlier on. Okay, Azrael, what do you say? I don't care who you are, I'm gonna pay for hurting my family. Let's go! Uh, Crystal ch changed into a blade. Oh, okay, this is nice. This out! Asking beast out! And then, oh. yeah. Not inside the tree side. Alright. Two sides. Well, you're oh. supposed to kill Yeah, you also got two actually, two sided, different oh, weapon. Really? And then after that, okay, Jason, you know these students, you saw them before, they were in school. You skipped school today because you just don't feel like it. But with the people that needs protection, you're not too sure who they are. But Nathan, this person threw you a crystal. You feel it's coursing green power through your, your body. And then you look at them, you look at this creature. What do you want to say when you're doing? I just simply look at the crystal and say, uh, you know, a classic. It's more from time as I, you know, smash the crystal to transform. Okay, you grab it in mid air, and so at the moment you land, you turn to say, and you immediately say, it's more from time. They switch. Okay, multi sided, mm -hmm. two side. And on the character sheet, I turn on the it's more from time, right? Yeah, it's more from time. Yep. Because I, I, I did, yeah, I did turn it on. That's when I basically tell them, Keep him busy, I'll help that girl! And Gabba Kondo looks to all four of you and said, and then he laughed. <laughs> new Rangers, new faces. This will be fun. But, we don't have much time. It seems that we have to continue our fight. Another episode, and to be continued. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I thought we were gonna keep going.